Chicago Bulls visit the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans coming off a back-to-back, but Zion was off last night. Curious to see if he does play tonight. Um, haven't seen either way whether he's locked in. I'm sorry, it looks like he's out tonight again. But Pelicans still three-point favorites here against these Chicago Bulls. The total sits at 227. Ski, there's a couple angles you like here. Yeah, there are. And we'll start with that total. Um, for one, I did see Zion rolled out, so I like that. They'll be missing some points there. And I just have to start. You guys already know. These teams played a week ago. <laughs> and the first game went under. It was, I think, in a 232 range, somewhere around there. And they reopened this one a lot lower. I think like six points or so. So they're expecting a lower scoring game here. And um, this system, I've mentioned it plenty of times on the show. It's hit 11 of the last 13 and let me just repeat in case I didn't explain um, correctly. It's since 2015 when teams play within a week. The first game went under, and they adjust the second game total even lower. It is 115, 72, and 2 to the under. That's 61.5%. And, again, that's back to 2015. So I'm just looking at that. We have a really tired New Orleans team. I already mentioned miss, uh, it's their fifth game in seven nights, so extremely tired. And it's a back-to-back. Um, and for the Chicago team, to start the season, they were playing really good good defense they've kind of gotten away from it lately and you know resulted in a really bad loss so I think they start to get back to playing that good defense here and we know New Orleans is a good defensive team as well so that is the under and the reason I like the Chicago Bulls no secret I'm a big fan of the rest advantage two days to zero for this particular matchup third game in seven nights for Chicago compared to fifth and seven for New Orleans and um missing a good amount of points without Zion so give me the Bulls at plus money and give me the under yeah, I like that quite a bit. It's um, just to move a little bit. I guess Zion was announced out just a second ago. Looking at, you know, more like Pelicans. Looks like we're going to settle right around minus one and a half, minus two. Um, if Zion's out when the show's done, I'm going to grab the Bulls at plus money. I, I don't know why they're not favored at this spot at this point. Chris, what are you thinking tonight? Yeah, I would actually lean the other way in the total. Um, you know, I don't like it enough to play it here in the show, but Chicago's defense has regressed uh, pretty tremendously lately. The bottom five unit in the last five games. In that last game against the Pelicans, they allowed 115 points, and the Pelicans only hit 16% from beyond the arc in that game. Just a really bad shooting game from the perimeter for the Pelicans, and they still put up 115. Uh, I just like what I saw from the Pelicans last night without Zion. I mean, they were so explosive, and it just, you know, it seems like maybe without Zion, they, you know, they want to, you know, keep on impressing on on other defenses that they're going to still keep on driving to the paint. Just a very physical, explosive team, not afraid to keep on driving to the paint. Um, you know, they've been they're a top top ten, top 10 offense this year in a ton of different categories. Chicago's upping their pace a little bit. And, you know, Chicago turns it over a ton. They're one of the um, highest turnover rate teams in the, in the NBA, whereas the Pelicans are fourth in steals. So I think you could get a lot of easy buckets for the Pelicans. You know, the one thing to Ski's point is not not a great spot, obviously. For New Orleans, at, even though they're at home, it is a back-to-back. Chicago off a little bit more rest. So if Chicago can set the pace in this one slower, then it should bring this total down. I'm just not sure if Chicago can say, set the pace against this Pelicans team that is so loaded, uh, you know, starting unit, bench unit. They kind of all play with the same intensity. So I think there's a chance we see another high-tempo game. I just wanted to, Go ahead, Ski. to add um, – the last time they played, I think it was the Bulls' sixth game in nine days, and this time it's flipped. This time it's Pelicans' fifth game in eight days. Yep. That's an interesting dynamic. And, again, it's always fun to see the impact of a player on a total. I think tonight we're going to learn a lot about kind of what Zion and this Pelicans team looks like without him. But Ski likes the total and the side here. He's going to play the under 227 here in this game, as well as the Bulls' money line. Um, two spots there for him. Again, there's your under 227 and the money line popping up there shortly behind it. 